Hey, what's up, guys? Eroy94 back once again with another action figure review. And we are looking at the last and final figure that we are reviewing to complete our Xem new build a figure from the Super Villains Wave. This is Marvel's The Hood. Here is the side art image of the hood, and on the back side we get the rest of the wave along with the build a figure and then a picture of the hood and then the read up that reads a chance encounter with a demon gives petty thief Parker Robbins a mystical cloak and transforms him into a true criminal menace. So here we have the hood also known as Parker Robbins and he comes packed in as so this is the final figure that I am reviewing from the super villains Xemnu build the figure wave. This is an all villain wave, the first one we've ever had like that, and I hope it continues. I could definitely see a series two and series three of this happening. So, so far, Hasbro's off to a great start with this series one. But we conclude the series with the hood, and he comes like so. This figure comes with a couple of accessories for himself, and then we get the final build a figure piece to Zemnu. But if you want to count the hood itself, uh, then that could count as an accessory, but that's come uh, packed in on the figure itself. It removes fairly easily, and it's a very nice sculpt overall. It's very, very nice. The texture on this thing is quite impressive. We'll take a closer look, but you could definitely, you know, already pick up some of that texture, and I love how it's ripped on the bottom of the of the hood right there on the cape. Um, overall, very nice sculpt and mold. I think that is a brand new one. Now this one right here is not, this body mold is, is uh, reused of course. We got the suited pants and the shoes. And then we got the torso. This would make good for a civilian body. I can already see it or people are thinking about using this for a civilian body because look how casual it is. So, very nice body mold to use if you don't care for the hood character. You can still definitely utilize this figure for something else. Next up, the hood comes with not just one, but two pistols. These are just all black. Nothing uh, painted. The sculpt is there. It's very nice. So, not too bad for a pair of guns. And they're realistic looking guns. They're not futuristic at all. And for these guns, we get for the first time ever, at least... Uh, for the first time that I've seen, I don't know if these have been used before, if they have then I don't own the figure, but these are effect pieces for the gun itself. Bullet effects, firing effects, pretty cool. You could peg these on the actual pistol. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you see Mesco do, so I'm actually very impressed that Hasbro is doing this. Very nicely done. I like this kind of stuff. Keep that up. I like seeing attachments like that on the weapons. Very cool. Now it does look over the top. But this is a comic book figure so it fits perfectly. It looks uh, like something that you would see on a comic book page. So that is awesome. We get that one right there and then we get a shorter one right here. So two different blasting effects for the pistols. Very nicely done. That's all he comes with and then he does come with the left leg of Xemnu right here, ready to put him together in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Alright, just a quick look at him holding the two pistols with the effect pieces on the end of them. That looks so good. I'm very happy about that. Going into the right direction, Hasbro. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. So there is a closer look at that face sculpt and take a good look at that one right there. He is very, very upset, very unhappy. But overall, the sculpt came out very, very nice. And the paint job in the mouth, the teeth, the tongue came out pretty clean on my figure. So I'm pretty happy about that. Hair sculpt is nice. There's the back. Here's the back of the torso. Here's the front of the torso. Nothing too crazy here, but I do like the colors. The blue jacket with the white shirt, green pants, brown belt, brown shoes. Looking cool, looking good. There's your close shot. A little too close. But you can pick up all the texture and details. Let's go ahead and take a look at the hood itself. You can really pick up the texture and details here. Check that out. Pretty cool overall. Very well done. Are the two big pins or buttons on the front. And before we move on with the articulation, here's one more look at him with the hood on. I will say, if I may, I do wish that he did come with a uh, alternate head that we can swap out where he's a little bit more calm and neutral in the face expression. That way we could have two options to display him 
uh, with two different, you know, faces as we uh, see fit. All right, and you and I both know we've seen this body mold plenty of times and we know what it's all about. But, you know me, I'll run through it real quickly just in case you don't. The head is on a ball jointed hinge. He looks up. He looks down, left and right. Head tilts. Arms go all the way around, forward and back, in and out. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. We have an ab crunch at the torso, waist swivel, T-jointed legs will kick forward. They go back, they go in and out. We get thigh swivels, double jointed knees at the legs. And then we get the ankle on a hinge going forward and back. And then there's the ankle rocker, but there is no ankle swivel. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and run through all the wave mates of the hood. First up, we have Red Skull, and keep in mind all these figures, of course, I have reviewed already, so check out those reviews if you missed out. Looking pretty good there, height-wise, they're about the same, if you consider the top of the hood. Next up, we have Dormammu, which is actually the same body mold as the Red Skull, but he does stand taller due to the uh, flame effect head scope that he has. Up next, we have the AIM Scientist Supreme. And here we have, standing the shortest of them all, we have Lady Deathstrike. Up next, we have the insane, maniacal, murderous Arcade. Then we have the one and only Doctor Doom. Let's run through some head swaps. First up, we'll do Stan Lee, because this is actually the Stan Lee body mold. Completely the same, just a different skin tone, so the head is on there just fine. Skin tone's not too bad, but it is very different if you look at it up close. Um, it is different, but from, from afar, it actually looks decent. Next up, here's Arcade, which matches pretty darn good. That's a good match in my opinion. Very nice fit and skin tones match. Looks pretty good. Here's Arcade head number two. Even better. It looks even better. Look at that. Next up, Baron Zemo from the MCU. Pretty tight fit, but the skin tones aren't not 100%. Loki from the MCU. Yeah, not good in the skin tone department. Here is Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. Skin tones don't match too well, but the beard helps out with that issue there. Next up, we have the Tony Stark from the 80th anniversary Iron Man, and this one is a little too big, and it does not match. This one, not too bad. Skin tones are not 100%. Uh, you know, this one's kind of off. Here's the Fox movie, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine head. Doesn't look too terrible. It's a little on the big side, but it's okay. I think this is Daredevil. Can't remember, but uh, skin tones don't match once again. Here's a very casual looking Nick Fury. Comic base Wolverine does not really work. Old Man Logan comic base, hey, that's not too bad. Now, this one looks like it could work, but it does not go in at all. It's just literally hanging on top there. And this is the Cyclops head. There's Star-Lord from the MCU, looks a little off. There's another comic base Tony Stark, but he does not fit. It's hanging on top. Peg hole is too small for this head. Right, and we'll end it with this one. I think we've had enough. This is a uh, Peter Parker head. All right guys, that'll do it for the review of the Marvel Legends Hasbro Super Villains Exam New Build a Figure Wave, The Hood. That concludes my reviews for the entire wave. Hopefully you guys enjoyed them all. They are all up now, so be sure to check out any that you may have missed. And that means we are now proceeding to our build of figure, so stay tuned for that video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, everyone, take care and have a great day.